Hello there, this is Dave Allen and this is another video about Sorted. I covered all the basics in the previous video and if you haven't seen that tutorial go back and have a look because there's some good stuff in there. In this video again we're going to be looking at it using the application on the iPad. I'll probably have to do another one with regards to using it on the Mac. Functionality is accessed by using keyboard shortcuts because we don't have the gestures available that you have available on the iPad and iOS. So let's have a look at auto schedule. In the previous video I showed you that you could do auto schedule by selecting the items you wanted to schedule first just like this and then you could do the scheduling for those things that you've selected. It's also possible to schedule everything for the day without making a selection first. In the top right hand corner there's an icon with three dots in there and we can go to auto schedule. I'm going to start it off from 10 o'clock going through to 11 o'clock in the evening and we're going to click on next leave the buffers and the durations on there as per usual and set go and it's scheduled my day for me and it's done everything that was in the list how about that then let's have a look at filtering your schedule if you have a lot of tasks on your schedule for the day from various projects you might want to look at specific areas of work use the same menu again in the top right hand corner and we can do a filter by list and there we can choose it's going to be either inbox or tutorial so let's just look at what's in the inbox and it just shows that if we want to look at just all the tutorial stuff we can have a look at that or oh, there's stuff in there that's the make video youtube we can just look at that so that's quite handy okay so let's clear that and click on done let's go back to the menu item again and we can also filter by tag so here we've got the tags that are available within this list here and we can set so we look at uh, whatever's to do with just follow up or we can do whatever's just in there as a test or we can go to YouTube. So that's the way to filter by the lists and for the tags, but you can also do both. So let's click on done. We've got that list of filtered there so far just by the tags. And if I wanted to also, I could do it this way here so that I could filter by the uh, list as well. This is not gonna work very well because I've only got one list in there so far and that's to make YouTube videos. But say if I just say, we wanna look at tutorials, there's nothing there with tutorial and with the tag uh, YouTube video so and if I look at inbox nothing in there either but if I look at this one here make YouTube video I've still got all of the things so you can have both the list and the tag or tags you've selected for them to show up in the list of scheduled items for the day let's have a look at the reorganized feature this is a pro feature and we're going to go have a look at this one here because I've got a few things in the notes there that I can do some reorganizing with so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the three dot menu that's in the bottom right hand corner of the task. Tap on that there and I'm going to go to reorganize. Now with reorganize the way that this works is that we've got things in there that can move now into other tasks separately. So I'm going to move list of stuff and put that into a thing by itself. I'm going to do more and put that into another one by itself. And this one here test I'm going to put that into this one here and you'll see that it's going to go in there as a note underneath the list of stuff. Okay, so when I've done that, I can click on done, and that's done some reorganizing for me. You see we've got two more tasks that are in there, and the list of stuff on there, you'll see that we've got that uh, test note in there as well. So that is just a nice little way to do some reorganization of the stuff within the task that you've got. Also, what you can do is we can take this one here and select them, and got those three things selected and we can do a merge click on merge and it's going to put the uh, title in there from the top one on the list there and then it's going to have underneath the notes uh, which are basically the things that were tasks previously so let's do a merge on that and you see that's kind of um, put it all back together again from this view here we can actually take some of these things and put them into a list so let's just do this here, select those two things there, and I want to move those into a list. And I can select which list I want to put them into. So let's just put uh, leisure for the moment, just so it's in some sort of a list. And click on done, and those now will go into a list, and they're out of whatever list they were in before, or the inbox, so they go into just one place. And also what we can do with this here is we can change the duration. So if we want to change the duration of all of these all together at the same time, we can make them all 15 minutes long, and click on done and that changes the duration on all of them. If I want to move any of these tasks to another date, let's choose those ones there and I want to move those to a different date. I can do that date thing at the bottom there and I'll change it to tomorrow and they've moved over to tomorrow. Now then, deleting items from a list with a gesture. 
let's go to tomorrow and we've got our list here now if I want to set this as being done I can pull that over from the left to the right and it puts that tick mark in there and it will set that as being done and that will move it off the list as it were but what about if you want to delete it altogether now the way that you do that is not by going from the right to the left which you think would make sort of sense but you go from the left to the right and then you go back and then up comes the option to delete so now I can delete that by just letting go and off it goes that's been deleted and I'll find that in the trash now that's the one I've just deleted and when you're in the trash it's got the last seven days that's in the trash there and if you want to you can just empty trash and get rid of everything sweet now here is our history panel this is where you'll see the list of all the tasks you have completed you can select one or multiple tasks and bring them back by tapping on the menu at the bottom center to do uncomplete let's do uncomplete on that there and that's going to put them back in they have been uncompleted so they're going back in your sort of to do system and again with the history we've got this three dot menu at the top right hand corner and we can do the filter by list or filter by tag and again you can do filtering by both let's go back to the schedule view and here's a little trick that you can do if you want to look at your day in a more sort of visual sort of way let's go to that there and use timeline and this is kind of like a calendar style view and basically what it's done is it's put these tasks out in the calendar as it is and I can see more visually how they sort of stack up during the day and that's quite nice once you're in that list there you can't move on to a different sort of a day you just have to go back to uh, choose the date in this one here so this one here is to do that one and I'm looking at the timeline of this one so that's the timeline for tomorrow but let's have a look at some options with the inbox you've got a couple of sort options within this so you can sort by time or sort by duration so you go to that uh, three dot menu in the top right hand corner again and we can go for this one here sort by duration and that make a sort by duration let's put some duration to this one here so let's have a duration of one hour on this one done let's put a duration on this one let's go for duration of uh, 10 minutes and I'll click on done let's go back to this here I'm going to tell this to sort by duration and it should change the order of those things in the list there so let's go by duration and make a video becomes first and get some sleep is second the sort by duration is useful if you want to see the tasks which are short and can be done quickly you could jump into those and get those small easy jobs done and dusted before starting on the longer duration tasks okay so let's go to this one here the help thing and we go to this one here and we've got a URL scheme this here shows you how you can get a few things done using the X callback URL thing it looks a little bit complicated and you just have to follow the sort of recipes that you've got in here and you can get stuff sorted with automation which you can do through shortcuts and it's worth having a look at those we'll have a, we'll have a look at those in another video and also what you can do is you can do some Siri stuff as well now this one here we've got some uh, tasks we can add so add a task in sorted saying buy milk I found that if you have it set up so that uh, you'd say to Siri um, hey thingy Bob buy some milk um, or hey thingy Bob remind me to and then it'll go into the reminders app in the settings I've go to the integrations and I've got set reminders I've got it set that whatever goes into the inbox on reminders will come into sorted I have set up one series shortcut already this was just a bit of a test here okay so what it does is it puts in this action here and it says add it goes to and then it's got the notes in there and basically this is a way of having a template so what's going to happen now is you're going to see a task that goes into the sorted application and it's going to be notes test more so it's a way of doing some sort of a template so let's press play on that there and it's opened up this here and it's allowed me to sort of do some editing in this here if I want to so I can add more stuff here if I want to so so that's a fairly handy little thing there you can set up a few of these here you'd have to have all the same thing on each of them and it's fairly easy to set up and I'm going to do another video and I'm going to go into this in bit more depth if you've got something from this video please click on the like button and click on the bell so you get more tutorials coming to you when I make them and thanks very much for watching bye bye now talk to you again soon